managing director of Bonio Park and uh, I know as a competitor and a commentator and everything else, she's, uh, I don't know how you keep smiling all the time. It's unbelievable. The workload is incredible. The show gets bigger and bigger. Stabling gets more and more. And uh, uh, the next thing is another 80-odd stables going up here. You've got a new arena out the back that's fantastic. And uh, the other, there's already another one that was there before with two arenas and this one is becoming quite some complex now so the next big thing is the stables absolutely um as i said it's been a very big year for us already um with the two new arenas that we're christening for the first time uh, for dressage this weekend we're thrilled to have over a hundred adult riders out there currently uh doing their thing which is just great to see uh them being an evolved in an event like this um but yes yeah, certainly we're looking forward before this time next year to have another block of of 82 stables um, so that's the next thing to be done oh, it's amazing the facilities out the back and the stable is beautiful like really fantastic undercover stables and nice and big and roomy and plenty of shavings it's, a, it's been a super show but it just seems to get bigger and bigger Fiona when are you going to stop <laughs> I think we might be nearly there. This is certainly the biggest event we've ever had and for our little team it is a very big undertaking. Um, we've got an incredible team here. Everyone works very hard. Um, but yeah, you certainly look around and say, oh gosh, between all the traders and the competitors, it is a very big undertaking. I think we're all slightly sleep deprived, but it's good fun. We love doing it and that's why we're doing it. So um, no, certainly I think, yeah, much bigger things still to come. Looking forward to say uh, the next stable and then after that we'll be doing the next indoor arena so okay bit by bit we're getting there so but yeah all having a good time at the moment <laughs> yeah there's no complaint. it's been a fantastic show and uh, the, especially with the quality of horses here in the grand prix this year it's been fabulous and uh, uh, so what's the next big competition here i know that you have the cdi here in january and there's been a few master class have been really successful sure. and there's show jumping last week yeah. i mean it just goes on and on so what's the next thing along the way here for bonio park uh, our next big event's the All States Showdown, which is a show horse event. That's the first weekend in March. So come that time, we'll be show horses from all around Australia here. Um, so we've got a relatively quiet February, except for my own wedding. <laughs> Just to throw that in there, but uh, the next big event for Bonio Park is, say, is that the show horses the first weekend of March. I see your future husband standing out there looking, hoping you don't say something wrong. <laughs> so, or is he going to hop in and say, if there's another show like this, there's no more married? I saw him on the quad bike grading the arena. Absolutely, just getting him ready for the family. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Edward, he, uh, he loves it too, you know, I, I can't believe that you can say so cool and calm and everything's uh, going crazy around the place, it's fantastic and of course you've got horses from all over the place here? Yes, we do. No, it's been a great event. We've got horses from every state in Australia that have travelled here, so we're very honoured to have such quality fields across all classes. Um, as I say, the event just gets bigger each year, um, but no, it's it's all good. <laughs> and it integrated with the paras as well now, so that's really big, and they're all in the stables and working together, which is really great to see them, and the adult riders as well. So what was the initiative about involving the adult riders? Look, I think in this sport we need to integrate the groups so much. It's a very fragmented sport. We've got so many different groups involved. Um, from my perspective, I think it's really important for the adult riders. We've also got the Pony Club riders so who are participating Mark tomorrow. For, um, for them to be mixing with our elite Bay, riders, for Bay them to have something to aspire to towards. Um, I think if some of these five, Pony Club five, riders, six. they come out tomorrow, they watch Heath Ryan, Brett Parbury riding, and they say, hey, that's what I want to do in life. Well, for me, I think I've done my job. Um, I think, you know, it's all about inspiring our riders to greater things and hopefully keep them in the sport for the long term. Yeah, fantastic and you certainly inspired you've got a new horse uh, can't you do all this and ride? I tried I had good intentions but yeah a few days ago when I wasn't really having much time to actually ride my own horse I pulled the pin so that's okay there's a lot of other shows which with a lot of other great event organizers so I'm very much looking forward to dress under the stars to be able to go out and participate um, but yeah my first priority today and, and this weekend is certainly just to put on a good show for the competitors so left the horse in the stable which I don't think she's complaining about. <laughs> yeah 
Yeah, tell us a little bit about her. Uh, so Tacita is an 11 year old mare. Um, I bought her last year in Germany and she arrived in September. Um, so she just had a couple of Grand Prix starts before I bought her and I've had uh, yeah, a couple of starts since she's been here with some pretty good results. So really looking forward to, to being back in the, the big tour again since I sold Ostra this time last year. Um, so just yeah, take it step by step with her and we'll see what happens. That's exciting and I bet you can't wait to go to someone else's show. Definitely. As I say, very much looking forward to dressage with the stars. I hope they give you good stables. <laughs> <laughs> so do I. Poor, poor Fiona's got theirs. How many portable stables? Uh, we brought in 70 portable stables for, for this show, but certainly trying to please everyone. Everyone wants the, the barn stables, which has been a little bit of a nightmare for our gorgeous uh, stable manager, Marion, who's just done a wonderful job for us. Um, but yeah, as I say, unfortunately, when we've only got 82 uh, permanent stables, and 150 people that all want those boxes. Um, you can't please everyone, but rest assured, this time next year, that won't be an issue. I must say, it's interesting, there's a lot of stallions here. Huh? That, I think that creates difficulty for you guys as well, but there's plenty of stallions here, yeah? It, yeah, there certainly is, and that um, makes for the stable allocations an absolute nightmare between all the stallions and the mares, and obviously, you, you know, you can't put one anywhere near another. Um, so it's very much a bit of a, a jigsaw puzzle to work out where each horse is going to go, and that certainly has been a little bit of an issue for us that the stallions certainly can't go in the portable stables. Um, but as I say, Marion has been fabulous and hopefully Hopefully uh, everyone will go home happy. Yeah, I'm sure everyone does and they'll all come back again. Don't worry about that. It's a, I know from, from the riders, there's always fantastic feedback. And one of the biggest things is to ride on a surface like this. I mean, the surface has been absolutely fantastic. And with such good horses, it's very, very important to have surfaces. And people will travel a long way for good surfaces. So from all the competitors, I'd like to thank you, especially for the way you upkeep the, the arenas. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, Fiona McNaught, Managing Director of Bonio Park. It's an absolute pleasure to be able to interview in your busy schedule, have to bolt off and organise something else for sure, and then be out tonight to the fundraiser. Yeah, That's going to be great fun. Yeah, really looking forward to that. Yeah, <laughs> so, um, and then be up bright and early for tomorrow, the last day, so that'll be good too. So, be. Fiona, thank you. And from everyone out there watching, you know, thanks for putting on such a fabulous show and uh, <laughs> availing it to us as well. Ladies and gentlemen, Fiona, thank you. Pleasure. My absolute pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> this has been another presentation from EQ Life TV.